to um, you know keep getting more work in in between, trying to keep uh, keep refining things in the bullpen. Um, you know, not uh, I don't know. I know it's kind of kind of cliche, but not you know being too satisfied and and um, you know kind of losing that edge a little bit. You know, always trying to refine things and get a little bit better. So um, you know, there's always things you can work on and always things that you can be better at. So um, you know, we got a, a lot of young guys who have that mindset right now, and I think um, you know that's what makes this group so fun to be around. Can you see, see if this is? A possible turning point for this offense. Obviously, they're they're trying. It, 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 they just haven't been able to have that breakout. Do you think a win like this, even more so than a you know a five to two win, could do something for this offense? Uh, I don't know if this is what does it for the offense, but I think for our team, I think wins like this are huge. Um, you know, uh, against a team that that is really young, you know, like us. You know, we obviously we expect to come in and win every game, and you know, just like they do in, in every team. But you know, when you lose the first two. Um, and, and you feel like you had a chance to win each game, you know, sometimes you can kind of have that slump move into the third game and, and allow that to, to really kind of set the tone for that third game and you end up, uh, you know, giving up a sweep. So I think just as a team aspect, I think it's a little bit more important for us to stay with it and, and get that big win in, in the 10th. Um, as an offense, I mean, there's going to be, you know, ebbs and flows and ups and downs. And uh, normally during a season, you know, you don't have the whole team kind of slumping. Uh, and I wouldn't even say our whole team's in a slump. I think we got a lot of guys who are hitting the ball and having really good at bats. I just think we haven't come up with that hit when we needed it. Um, you know, I think yesterday we, one of the the last couple of games we had seven to nine hits. I mean, we had plenty of hits. Uh, it's just when we get them and and when we kind of get that guy in. So. Um, I think it's it's more of a, a team, you know, a building win for this one to try to uh, you know turn the ship around before we go to LA. And then last one, did you lobby for the night? Uh, I always lobby for the night, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Yeah, thank you. Okay, Chris. Uh, this, this kind of goes on the heels of that. Um, I know you pitched a complete game shutout last year uh, with the Rangers, but do you feel like that this was your best outing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, with the Rangers, uh, no, I, I think that outing in Houston was better. Um, you know, just, uh, I mean, even just how I felt. You know, I think you know, I got away with a couple pitches today. Um, you know, missed my spot on, on a few pitches over the middle. And, and, you know, these outings are the ones where, um, you know, maybe I wasn't quite as sharp as I could have been. And, you know, they missed the pitches that they caught, probably could have done some damage and, and could have put up a couple runs on. Um, so you know, I think I got in a couple situations. Same thing with guys on second, and you know, was able to make a couple pitches to to get out of it. But not that they were great pitches. I think, um, you know, maybe whether it was the shadows or whatever it was, I think you know, I was able to get away with a few pitches that, you know, some days you don't get get away with. You you seemed a little you had a little skip after your strikeout to end the seventh. Uh, you don't show a lot of emotion on the mound. Are you pretty excited about that strikeout there? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's one of those things where. Um, when when you're in the moment and you're you're thinking along and and you're figuring out which pitches are playing off each other and and I I don't know if that was the pitch or, or which hitter it was but there was a couple hitters where I took like 30 seconds to figure out what pitch I wanted to throw I shook through every pitch that Trevi was calling not because he wasn't calling the right pitch but I didn't know what pitch I wanted to throw so uh, you know I kind of just kept saying no because I wasn't ready to say yes so um, I think that was probably one of those instances where I I feel like I had the right pitch. And when you have that type of confidence and conviction behind it, and and you're throwing the right pitch off off that sequence, um, to me, there's times where you just know the hitter isn't going to hit it, and you know maybe that was one of those times. I don't know, um, but I think any time that you can you know show a little bit of emotion and and you know have a, a little bit of confidence coming off the mound, you know hopefully the team can feed off that and, and get going. Hey Nate's here, so Levi, last one for Kyle. You mentioned shaking out Trevino. I was, was going to ask you about working with him. Um, what what is it that makes him? I mean, it seems like you guys have worked together pretty well. What is it that makes him good at what he does? Uh, he studies a lot. He's he's very cerebral about his approach. He he knows what pitches work off each other. Um, he has a really good idea of of what hitters are doing. He notices things that. Um, other young catchers that I've been around, although I've been really lucky, I've thrown to a lot of veteran catchers, so that's probably not fair. But um, he notices things that those veteran catches catchers were noticing. Um, you know, I don't really want to get too much into that, but he just he notices those things, and it makes it a whole lot easier on the pitching staff uh, when he does. And then he understands how to attack hitters when it comes to a take or a swing, um, and just from pitch to pitch, he's really good. Right on, that works. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, Kyle.